going off of uh, some of the you know the comments on you know, uh, when we actually went and looked at it for the first time in years even though a few of them were a little brutal they all had a very real and you know message is to get out and start enjoying it again and uh, quit ignoring it even though I kind of had other you know hobbies the car hadn't been driven since 1977 so what Bob Doucette still had a grand plan cleaned up off of members of the family had arrived to work. and the 1955 Corvette was coming out of the old house today Which one of y'all would sell the car in five minutes as soon as Bob wasn't around, huh? Now you're, this is a car family, right? Yes, so it wouldn't be sold. <laughs> yeah, we can't sell yeah, the car. No. Same old wore out key. Well, the point that really started making sense to me was in order for my family to actually have the uh, traction the attachment to it, you know, that I have is you have to have some seat time. That's so, true. So right. that's uh, that's kind of why we've been the talk has been, and when I finally decided that okay, this process needs to start. I need I need motivation. Motivation is now here, and I have a place to work on it, so I can drag it out. So the timing has worked out really pretty good. Everybody say their name, and so, you know, just, just go ahead and just say your name. Well, I'm Bob, and this is my car. I'm Michelle. Mike Weatherly. I'm Mason. Jeremy Doucette. I'm his son. And? Amy Doucette, daughter-in-law. And I'm Bob's youngest son. Oh, okay, where are you from? I'm from here. Oh, that's I right. I haven't made it very far. I just live a few blocks down the way. Well, you knew he'd never sell it, right? Absolutely. My granddad liked it too much. He liked the 55 vet, and that was why he bought him that. And my grandpa would be the one to really play a big part of him not ever getting rid of it. <laughs> time has come to uh, actually do something with it yeah, rather rather than just park it but you know at, uh, the, at the time when I start I had to quit driving it you know life's and family circumstances kind of kind of put um, put that more on hold Do what? I haven't seen it since I was 10 years old. Wow. Yeah. Man, you saw a video. I saw, I saw a video. Okay. Mason, he you come, just... He come over here I helped get with the door me. ready. He, he helped me get to the door where we could get it open. So he but I haven't seen it uncovered. <laughs> Michelle and Mason. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I was 10, this car seemed like it was this tall versus it's this slow. It's that I'm retired and I actually have a good, you know, at the first of the year, I bought a, a big garage. So I actually have a place to work on it now. Oh, so. okay. So it's a grand plan that's going to work. Well, that's that's the plan is to finish finish the dream or bring it back alive or I'm, I'm glad he's doing that. I've been Telling him he needed to get it out get it done Yeah, so he can be in one of the car shows 
Well, most people have sold their their car when they were a kid, but he still got it. He still got it. What I have done beforehand was to work on this door because it had been not been opened in many, many years and it was rotten off on the bottom. So I had to work over the lift assist on it because I was afraid that it was going to fall apart. Oh. I see what you mean about the garage leaving the yeah, bottom of it still there. You want to just pick up one side yeah. and pull it completely up, Bob? There we go. The wheels just have to fall off, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> These are my, old skis. These are my water school. skis that I used to ski on back when I was in high school. I, ha I actually had a boat for a while. So you yeah, found could, them, huh? I could slot. Yeah, I didn't even remember they were being in here until I, we started trying to work on this door where we could get it open and I had to move them out of the way. Of course, I had flat feet that made real good barefoot water skis too. So, <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes I, I could not use those for a little while. The problem was is they were so tender they didn't last very long. <laughs> Let me go get something where we can start kind of sorting through this because there's a lot of stuff here that old okay. paint that I was using when I painted before dad passed away when I painted his porch oh, okay. and everything and this door on the outside. So okay. We're going to have to. There's throwing something away. I know. I need to see if the man is. <laughs> what are you whispering? I said, I need to check Bob's temperature. He said he might throw something away. <laughs> Watch out for there may be spiders in here. Yeah. Okay, this is. Do you want to keep these flowers for down there at the end? A lot of that they're sold, they're, they're falling apart. I'm afraid to hit. So I throw the box and everything away? They're crazy. Need like some of these? Cushion, I have the boat. Yeah, the old throw cushion. I'll put that over here with your water. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you might get another boat, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you get one of those flowers? Okay, they're, they're, they're coming apart. Yeah, I think we need a new one. I think, I think they're. Uh, their duty is uh, done. I got lots get my deal. Okay. Just hold this right here and then just kind of watch them doing stuff. I'll be right back. Huh. Alright. That's not scary. Hold <laughs> bottom of it. Oh, I'm off. not. Okay. No, it's all, it's all falling apart. Yeah. Bob, what is this lawnmower right here? This looks like an antique. What is it? It is. That was one of Dad's. It's a Montgomery Ward power craft. You see Montgomery Ward there on it. It's an old electric reel lawnmower. This is what my dad, and when I got old enough, used to mow the lawn out there. Does that come from the 50s or where? Probably. I don't really know what its date is. Probably not much later than the early 60s, I'm sure. Well, don't be throwing that away. That looks like no, I won't throw that away. There's probably there's kind of a time warp in here. Okay, there's a duck in here. Right here. That, it's been here since I was a kid. So. What do we got here? Some old Dutch Boy white lead. I looked it up on eBay. Cans of this that are going for thirty dollars a piece. Hills Brothers. Coffee cans. I found yeah, one. I need to get about actually this bigger can. Four of them. I found one on here, eBay one that was forty-five dollars. Small ivory flakes. 
Wow. Yeah, I looked that up on eBay too. And they were wanting thirty dollars for a box of it. Yeah. Why? Yeah. 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 What else you see? This one I've already replaced once before. This is what I'm, this one right here. Yeah. It's more something like this. I didn't even I didn't even remember this being in here. Oh, it's a mystery trimming right there. I think those are brand new. What's that? What's brand new? Well, I'm not throwing these away. Oh, okay. So I don't wait. No, no, no. no. I'm not brand throwing brand these away. For Father's Day, he got a whole new set. Us kids bought him the whole new braking system and everything for this Corvette for Father's Day. So he's got some stuff to get going. We just got to get it out of here trying to help them motivate to get going on it. Bob, do you think it'll push? Um, I mean, the uh, brakes could be froze, right? They could be. I put stuff through when we were bass fishing. blowing the dust off yeah. I'm, I'm trying to think of what my dad told me he's explained it to me you hear about this car like through my whole life and he would tell you it's the first three years is it that body style or that they may i can't really remember what he told me but he's told me about it so you have this myth in your head 
And, you know, as I, when I was little, I saw it for the first time when Fred Hughes had it out there at Gymnastics of Pampa. They had a, like a slumber party that we, us girls, we went out there and when he found out who I was and that I was Michelle Doucette, he's like, oh, your dad's Bob. I'm like, yeah, that's my dad. He's like, I got something to show you. And of course, I'm like, oh, okay, I have no idea. He's like, have you ever seen this car? And I'm kind of like, no, not really. So he showed me my dad's car. So when I came home, I told my dad and he's like, he showed you the car. And I said, yeah, I didn't know it was yellow. He said, well, yeah, it was part of my car. Of course, he doesn't remember it. And I, after this first video was made, I told my dad, I said, I think that's the only time that I have actually seen the car was when I was 10. And that Fred Hughes had actually shown it to me out of gymnastics at camp at a little slumber party that we were having out there. So I was like, I was pretty excited. I never got, we never got to really, we never came out in here into the garage just because of all this stuff and everything surrounding it. Um, but it's just been kind of underneath those little covers for uh, most of my life anyway so being the 1955 that was they had it three years. years yeah the first cars were made to look like european <sighs> sports cars the 53 it was basically a show car mm -hmm. they couldn't sell them very well they were really expensive and then they had six cylinders so they weren't that fast and they proved to be pretty much like a passenger car right but in 55 they finally put a V8 in it. Okay. And so that was the start of the Corvette having a V8, but you still get the old body style. The original yeah. body style that has the uh, stone guards over the headlights that makes it look different from any other Corvette. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it's a beautiful design. I mean, Zora Duntoff saw that. They, they call him the father of the Corvette, but he wasn't working for Corvette when the 53 came out. And he thought it was the most beautiful car he'd ever seen. And so he went to work for Chevrolet. And? And, you know, the 55 body style disappeared. With 56, you could still tell it was a Corvette, but it was not uh, stone guards over the headlights and a real roadster. You right. know what a real roadster is? Mm. It means there's no roll up windows. You have oh. side curtains instead of windows. Okay. That's cheaper to build, but it's also a lighter. Same way with the convertible top. It's a liftoff style, although there is a cavern in there. There is a compartment to put that that top folded in there. Right, mm-hmm. But it's not like the later ones. I mean, today you push a button and it folds in. Oh, yeah. That's a convertible. Mm -hmm. But, you know, this car is kind of a period-type car. It, it is as the guy modified it when Bob got it, and he just drove it and had fun with it. Absolutely, yeah. That story about him with putting beer in the side pockets and then with ice in each door <laughs> and then it would drain out and then the, the water would drain out the bottom and when you were in the driveway when you got through with the empty can you just reach over here open this up put the empty can in there and then close it back can and we make sure that <laughs> yeah i mean that is hilarious and then then he then he used the uh convertible top stowage compartment for trash yeah that, that, I mean, that sounds like my dad. That sounds like something he would do. I'm sure he... <laughs> I mean, I, I know a lot of people call him a hoarder. <laughs> right? Yeah, he, he doesn't throw away much. There's something, something, whatever it may be. If it's a magazine, there's an article in there that he is interested in that tells him how to do something that he wants to keep because he wants to refer back to it. Today they make TV shows about hoarding. Is there anything really wrong with keeping stuff, like for a century or two, just in case you happen to need it? You know, it's a funny thing. It's that same society that covets old treasures that calls hoarding some kind of a sickness or a disorder. Well, you can't have an old treasure unless you save it back. Maybe the trouble is people just don't save the right stuff. Like maybe a little old 55 Corvette that they just made 700 of. Isn't this something? Is it this is something. Aren't you glad he didn't sell it? Oh well, yeah, I'm glad he didn't sell it. I can't, I, I wouldn't, I just couldn't see him selling anything like this.
but a lot of people were saying, well, the kids would sell it in five uh, minutes. I yeah. don't think this is the kind of family no. that does that. No, not at all. I, I've read some of the comments and everything. I said, you would just have to know the family. And know what kind of, I think all of us have a little bit of some cars and motorhead in us. So, I mean, we all have that sentiment of value for these kind of cars. And, Good night, Irene. Good night. What's oh, that? What'd you find? find? Oh, that. The original. Steel full top. Uh, this is. Steel, steel full. full. It's full? It's full. Yeah. <laughs> That's old, isn't it? Yeah. yeah.